This is happening now. A recent study shows that around 38% of Pennsylvania students are people of color, but for teachers, that number is around 7%. Now, local and state leaders are hoping a $1.4 million grant from the Department of Education will help change that. Our Greg Payne is live in Spring Garden to explain. Greg? Yeah, that money will directly go to a number of new initiatives over at Temple University in hopes that it will encourage people to possibly take a walk upstairs like these to their local school district buildings to become educators and especially those of color. Like I'm blessed. I had several teachers of color, so I'm like surrounded by people who's cheering me on, supporting me, stuff like that. Joshua McQueen, who is a senior at Science Leadership Academy at Bieber, has experienced something a lot of students of color in the state of Pennsylvania have not. A study by experts from Philadelphia's Research for Action shows there are more than 38 percent of students of color in the state, but there is less than 7 percent teachers of color. A number McQueen wants to help change. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, so hearing things about like the percentages of how we can impact the students and stuff, that's very important to me because it's, in, it's motivating. Which motivation is exactly what state leaders are hoping their new partnership with Temple University's education program will do. Investing $1.4 million that will go towards a number of supporting initiatives, such as mentorship, advising, and more, in hopes it will increase the recruitment and retention of educators in the workforce, with a major focus on increasing the number of educators of color. This conversation does not stop here with this awarding of this grant. This conversation of adequacy, this conversation of constitutionality must be adopted and advocated by everyone in this room. Now you just heard Senator Hughes and there were a number of local leaders that were saying that they hope that this is just the start of a lot of change to come for the education field here in the state. Reporting here in Spring Garden, I'm Greg Payne, Fox 29 News. Thank you, Greg. The